Hello everybody, Minnestorm here, and welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we started building our initial uh, rail network. Uh, starting with a ore loading area and adding in a um, refueling stop for the trains. So we worked on that, and then in between episodes... I went ahead and kind of filled things in a little bit because we had just laid down a template for this T-junction. So I went ahead and I just filled it in with the, the rails and the signals. And then I also grabbed some more stone brick and widened this little pathway to just kind of make it look a little bit better. Um, I also completed the lines that connect here. And... I got it connected to our loading bay for ore here. Um, I had to make a slight adjustment to kind of lengthen this a little bit to get this transition here to work right. I should have moved things down at least one more block and it would have been better, but or up one more block and it would have been better, but it's all right. So, what we need to do is two things. One, we need to finish like the beginning of this, or at least start the beginning of this. Let's say, get the uh, the mining drills, which I should have been building more of those, but I did not. How many of those do I have? I have ten Mark II electric mining drills. I need twelve. Okay, that's not too hard actually. Grab some of that. I also need some iron plate. There we go. Build two of those. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to get this mine built. And just for patience sake, let's just get some lights up there. Alright. Get this new mine built and start feeding I had to change the wall a little bit here too as well. And start feeding that ore into the warehouses. So at least that can start building up while we get to other business that needs to be done. Oh, we need um, new tech running. Uh, we finished the advanced solder smelting. Advanced chrome. Advanced mechanical refining. Crushed ferrous ore, crushed cupric ore. Huh. That would be interesting. Alloy processing. Bronze. Bronze pipe. Well, let's grab the, the the alloy processing. Let's see, how does the bronze pipe compare? We don't even have it in the list. Copper pipe, iron pipe, stone pipe, steel pipe. I'm guessing bronze pipe probably pops out here. Alright, well. The other thing we actually need to make as well is we need to make fast transport belts. Because if we look at the expanded version of this recipe, we're going to need 26.7 per second, which only the fast belts can handle that much load. The, um, the yellow belts handle 13.3 items per second. So. Alright, so we need a dozen of these. Six. Now some of these guys on the edge may run out. Now we have these medium electric poles. Alloy 
alloy processing is done. Brown algae processing. Brown algae, lithium chloride, sodium carbonate, alginic acid. I don't necessarily need any of this stuff yet. Well, let me just check something. Um, advanced iron smelting too. What do I need for that? We need ore processing one and strand casting one. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the ore processing one. So I'd like to have that available by the time we start actually building our new smelting area. Alright, alright. Just trying to remember, what was I doing? Okay, I need iron to continue... ...making belts. Alright. Let's see, where are we going to want to bring this? It's going to make a hole in the wall temporarily. Alright, here's what we're going to do. to jog it there a little bit. I just gotta wait for this to craft. Alright, let me just, just pause it for a little bit while I let that craft. I'll be back in a second. Okay, everything finished crafting. There we go. So. We're probably gonna have to make a lot more, but for now... We're gonna bring this here, run it like that. And yep, ran out of belts. All right, so that's done. And that should lead to advanced iron smelting, but we need strand casting. So let's go for strand casting. There we go. Okay, so it's gonna fill this thing up first. You know what I really need? I need stack inserters. Right or yeah, there's nothing there because there's there's like nothing staying in there. Yeah, because we gotta fill this first, All right? And then once that fills up, then this will start to fill up, and then it'll start to transfer ore to the other one, and then it'll start to fill up this other car. So let that run for a little while, and let's go ahead and close off that there all right now the other thing we need to do while that's running 
is we need to get the refueling station that we built before up and running. And so we're going to need to decide on what it is that we're going to use for fuel. And actually, let me just go ahead and make another door here. Five gates. There we go. So, we have our three loading bays. I'm going to need to probably put another loop here just so that trains can get through, but it's okay for now. Um, the easiest thing that we could do is to just um, connect in to our coal line and use coal to fuel the trains. Or what we could even do is, can I make, is convert it to coke or carbon. Convert the coal to coke or carbon and that actually gets better energy density than just straight coal. There's also something we can do to make coke pellets, which are even better. But right now, our coal mine here, which is in need of some help because we're not quite making enough coal. Hold on. Well, what I was saying is that the coal mine is finite. It will run out. It will run out eventually because this is not an infinite coal patch and we don't have access to an infinite coal patch and most of the infinite coal patches like here and here and here are precariously close to enemy nests so we'll have to clear do some clearing of biters if um, we're going to do that but I have a different idea First off, I'm going to replace some of these mines with Mark II's. Turn that Mark I into a Mark II. Our strand casting is done. Advanced iron smelting too. Grab that. Let's see. One more. Yeah, one more. There we go. That should improve our coal throughput there. In fact, I can go ahead and just say, you know, we'll just take those mining drills that we had. Connect them in. And get them to work. Let me just check one thing. Uh, we are not meeting our power requirements. Okay, so. We need to expand the power plants. go ah, put that one in the wrong spot there we go 
There we go. And then you need... Just handcraft those real quick. Burner inserter. There we go. And that still is not quite enough. All right, let's add two more. And we're going to need to go grab some belts. All right, well, to continue on, what I was talking about before is that I'm going to say the coal's not sustainable, and we're actually going to have to find a replacement for the coal for the power plant, you know, eventually here. So what we wanted is a more sustainable fuel source. So I'm going to have to see about what we can do for that. We have some options. I got to go grab some more pipe too. Well, at least pipe to grounds, anyway. All right. Advanced iron smelting's done. Advanced copper smelting. Want that. We need power poles. Okay, there we go. All right, so what we can do is let's see. Potential fuel sources. Where is what I'm looking for? We can go with wood, right? Here's wood, wooden boards, wood pellets. We can't make wood blocks. Ah, wood bricks. Can't quite make those yet. 25 megajoules. It's a good fuel source. We can at least start working toward the wood pellets. Let's see, wood pellets. Twelve megajoules. So it takes eight wood pellets to make four wood bricks and four wood bricks have 25 megajoules so we gain a one megajoule increase we, we convert from wood pellets to wood bricks so we need cellulose fiber a couple ways to get cellulose fiber we can convert raw wood into cellulose fiber or we can convert green algae into cellulose fiber Green algae requires mineralized water and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is not hard to come by. 
Um, in fact, we can make carbon dioxide from wood pellets. So, we can kind of create a self-sustaining loop. The only thing that we would really need is the mineralized water. Which, we can make mineralized water by using crushed stone, which we have a not insignificant supply of. We just need to divert some crushed stone to make some mineralized water. Not hard. Or we can actually get crushed stone on purpose by doing this. Dirty water electrolysis, which will give us hydrogen, oxygen, and slag. Then we can take the slag and we put it in a grinder and turn it into crushed stone. So, let's go ahead and grab those wood blocks. I think that's what we're going to do. And this bit of trees is a little bit in the way. All right, so we're going to need a lot of these algae farms. Um, let's see. If I wanted to create uh, I never understand how to these filters work. All right, let's say I wanted to make a full transport belt's worth of wood pellets. We would need 80 per second of cellulose fiber. We don't have that. What's the best machine we have that can make this? We have... No, that's a distillery. We need a chemical plant. We have the chemical plant. Crafting speed 1.1... 1.25. We have this chemical plant. Which is... One point seven five crafting speed. So these are better. We have a liquid fire, a liquid fire, which is one point five. The chemical plants at the moment are better. We need twenty eight of them, and we would need fifty four algae farms. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, let's see if we can't get that down to a bit of a more reasonable number. Let's say we want five per second of the wood pellets. So let's make this an even number. Let's say six. Six per second wood pellets. He would still need a substantial... Still need a substantial input. Um, let's see, mineralized water. How much slag would I need? And using the dirty water electrolysis, how much of that would I need? We don't have the liquid fires. We have the chemical plants. We don't have ore crusher mark threes. We have ore crushers. 
And we don't have Electrolyzer Mark 4s, we just have Electrolyzers. We need 18 of them. This is still pretty significant. Four per second? Now we're starting to get into something that looks a little bit more reasonable. Electrolysis eventually leads to battery threes. Um, let's actually start the research on solar energy. Okay. Let's pin that. And let's see what we're going to need. So I need like a dozen of these. Let's grab a whole bunch of iron. And we need stone bricks. There we go. Actually, you know what I should probably do instead of this? Is work on this. Crafting speed upgrades. Now I still have a lot of science packs on the belt. So, we're fine there. And while that crafts, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set this up. Now, on this train, if I hop in, I did set up some schedule for it. Refueling station, five seconds of inactivity. So if I go ahead and let's say, let's head there. And then switch it to manual. All right, so we can see where it's gonna set. This, uh, does this actually fill all the way up? Not quite. All right. Um, let's just make a bunch of these real quick. All right. How many electrolyzers do I have? I have five. So I'm going to need five more. Plus two. Okay. I put those there, and then I'm going to use one of the large poles, which don't have a large coverage area, but they have a very long cable length. So they're good for transmitting over distance. So there we go. All right, where are we gonna wanna put this whole mess here? We're gonna need a source of water. Here's a water source. This is a lot of trees. Um, I have turrets on me, I have bullets. So yeah, let's go ahead, let's say we're going to want to use this pond here. 
this lake for the algae farm that is going to create the wood. We're going to expand it over time, but I think what we're doing right now will probably be sufficient. Because once the trains are fueled, um, they don't really need a ton of fuel, especially if you're using a nice big fuel source like these wood bricks. But I'm concerned if we start building over here that this enemy nest over here is going to become a problem. So we're going to have to go clear that out. Actually, let me just get a quick eyeball on my pollution plume. Yep, it's starting to spread significantly. I am going to have to actually start laying down a perimeter defense for the main base pretty soon. Where I'll basically put a belt around the wall with inserters and power and then line the wall with uh, gun turrets. Well, of course we're over here at night, aren't we? Oh wait. Ah, this is the one of the infinite coal patches. You know, I really should have brought some grenades so I could blow my way through this forest. It's all right. Oh. Ooh, those medium biters are bad news. All right. lot of medium biters. Alright, we're just gonna step our guns forward. Alright, we gotta get in here and start killing the nests so they stop spawning. Yeah, we've almost completely replaced the small biters with medium biters. But we're shooting our bullets a lot faster and they're doing a lot more damage. So that's good. Let's kill that one first, that one's gonna die faster. Ran out of bullets. There we go. And the reason why is because I drastically increase that evolution rate from pollution, so... The biters are gonna get really, really, really hard to deal with. Um, fairly quickly. So... Uh, one of the first things we're gonna have to build once we get our new, um... Smelting facility up is a uh, is an arsenal to just build bullets turrets grenades everything we can Flamethrower fuel. I love the flamethrowers and That's gonna get really interesting with all this forest around 
We're going to have some really big forest fires. All right, so we got all of our electrolyzers built. We now need four ore crushers. That's going to be fairly easy. At least one would think it'd be fairly easy. We need some stone. And actually, you can go ahead and head back to the to the mine. And put it back on manual. Alright, let's just grab up this stone. And there we go. One, two, three, four ore crushers. We're only going to need one chemical plant. One chemical plant. And we're going to need 16 algae farms. Which we can actually already make most of them. Okay, that's 16 algae farms queued up. And then we're going to need nine more chemical plants. There's five. Grab some more iron. Grab some more steel. There's... Okay, that should be nine. And then we're gonna need 11 assembly machines, which we're actually going to need some copper? Or is it just that we need circuit boards? We need circuit boards. So it'd actually be more efficient to just grab the circuit boards. How many did I queue in already? Well, two. There we go. That should be 11. And now it's just a matter of waiting for all of that to handcraft. Which we have some things we can do in the meantime. We are getting a little bit long here, but I'll go ahead and run it long. Actually, if, if we're going to be building the farm over here, I'm going to have to do some forest clearing in between episodes. Um, we're actually going to want this to come this way. Here and then we'll just merge them all into a single belt. So we'll do a three to one balancer, which we should have a blueprint for a that's one to three. Let's see. Three to one. Just right there. So what we'll do is we'll bring them all over here and then we will drop the balancer right about there.
Oh, actually, no. No, that's not how I want to do that. We needed to go the other way. And where did I put my book? There it is, okay. It is going to be a 1 to 3 balance, or not a 3 to 1. I'm silly. There we are. All right, because we have one line coming in and we need to split it to three ways. So, like, right about there. We may need to move it at some point, but for now, we'll just mark it there. And then once I'm not crafting everything in the world, then I can actually build it. So I don't appear to have any splitters. All right. But I think with that, we're going to go ahead. We're going to have to end the episode here. I'll just let all of this stuff manufacture in between episodes. We're about to get an upgrade. And then we will get to building this algae farm for train fuel next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.